हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक रिलायंस स्टॉक्स अनलिमिटेड प्रॉफिट पोटेंशियल इन फ्यूचर आई एम डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा पर्पज ऑफ द वीडियो इज सर्विस टू सोसाइटी एंड फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन टॉपिक नंबर वन बिकॉज देर आर थ्री टॉपिक्स टुडे रिलायंस रिटेल बिगर देन ऑल एफ एम जी जी कंपनी रिलायंस रिटेल एज रिपोर्टेड अराउंड थ्री लैख क्रोप्स इन सेल्स फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर This is more than the sales of India top seven consumer giants, including ITC, HUL, DMART, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, Goddard Consumer. Market cap of FMCG companies: Reliance Retail unlisted nine lakh crores, ITC five point four nine lakhs, HUL five point two two lakhs, Avenue Supermarket two point nine six lakhs, Nestle two point three nine lakhs. Goddard Consumer 1.22 lakhs, Britannia 1.16 lakhs, Tata Consumer 1.05 lakhs. Sales and net profit of FMCG companies April 2023 to December 2023 in nine months. Reliance Retail full year 2 lakh 73,079 sales, net profit 11,101 crore. ITC sales fifty two thousand nine fifty seven crores, net profit fifteen thousand five hundred and sixty two crores. HUL sales forty six thousand six hundred and eighty six crores, net profit seven thousand seven hundred and twenty one crores. Avenue Supermarket sales thirty eight thousand sixty one crores and net profit one thousand nine hundred and thirty two crores. Nestle sales fourteen thousand nine hundred and twenty six crores. And profit two thousand two hundred and sixty-two crores. Goddard Consumer ten thousand four hundred and sixty-two crores and profit one thousand three hundred and thirty-three crores. Britannia sales twelve thousand seven hundred crores, net profit one thousand five hundred and ninety-seven crores. Tata Consumer sales eleven thousand two hundred and seventy-nine crores, net profit one thousand four crores. As per ICICI Securities. Due to the growth of Reliance Retail in both offline and online platforms, improvement in margins and shares of private labels increasing, the company is likely to grow bigger in the coming years. As per calculations done by ICICI Securities, Reliance Retail's value in Reliance Industries share comes to rupees one thousand five hundred and ninety-three per share. Reliance Retail is a master distributor for Jio Services Telecom. Via seven thousand nine hundred plus small format geo stores and more than ten lakh plus retail partners. Reliance Retail is different compared to most other FMCG companies since operations in diverse range of retail format, including grocery, Reliance Fresh and electronic stores, Reliance Digital, fashion outlets, Reliance Trends and footwear etc. At present. Reliance Retail has over 18,000 stores across the country compared to 340 mart. Reliance Retail is not a comparable company. D Mart and V Mart are competition in the general merchandise category. Zudio, Trent and Shopper Stop, H&M and Zara in the fashion and lifestyle segment. HUL, ITC, Nestle and Tata in the FMCG space. So the Reliance Retail has combined all these things in a single company. Reliance industry shares include the value of oil and gas business, telecom and retail business. Just like they separately listed Jio Financial Services in 2023 to unlock the value for shareholders, they are likely to do so the same for Reliance Jio Telecom and also Reliance Retail. Jio Financial Services has a market cap of around 2.4 lakh crores currently, even though it is initial change in the business. Reliance Retail is valued approximately at 9 lakh crores, and Reliance Jio Telecom is also likely to be valued around 6 to 7 lakh crores. Reliance Industries' total market cap is around 19.65 lakhs currently. So, out of 19.65 lakhs crores. Around 15 to 16 lakh crores valuation could be for Reliance Retail and Reliance Jio Telecom. Hence, the oil and gas division is getting only around 3 to 4 lakh crore valuation, which is quite low for the scale of its business. 
when Reliance Industries separately lists its different business segments in stock markets, the overall valuation of Reliance Industries shares will increase since existing shareholders will get shares in Reliance Retail and Telecom just like how they were given shares in Geo Financial Services when it was listed in 2023. Now topic number two for the day, Maruti Suzuki quarter results. Maruti Suzuki announced its quarter results yesterday evening. For the first time, the company surpassed annual total sales milestone of 20 lakh units in financial year 2023-24. The company continued to be top exporter for the third consecutive year, now contributing 41.8% of the total passenger vehicle exports from India. Maruti Suzuki quarterly financials, sales January, March 2023, 32,214 crores, January, March 2024, 38,471 crores and plus 19%. Net profit, January, March 2023, 2,688 crores, January, March 2024, 3,952 crores plus 47%. Maruti Suzuki, last five quarters, January, March 2023. Sales 32,214 crores, net profit 2,688. In order to keep this video a little brief, I am going to talk about only the net profit. April June 2023, net profit 2,525 crores. July September 2023, the net profit 3,786 crores. October December 2023, net profit 3,207 crores. And January, March 2024, net profit 3,952 crores. Now, coming to Maruti Suzuki, last five years, sales and net profit. I'm going to mention only net profit when I'm talking in order to save time. Ending March 2020, net profit 5,678 crores. Ending March 2021, net profit 4,389 crores. Ending March 2022, net profit 3,880 crores and ending March 2023, net profit 8,211 crores. Ending March 2024, net profit has zoomed 13,488 crores. Good results for the company. Profit has gone up by 48% due to higher sales volume and favorable commodity prices. The company has declared its highest ever dividend of Rs. 125 per share. Maruti Suzuki has recently expanded the manufacturing capability at its Manesar plant in Haryana by 1 lakh units per year, taking the total capacity to 9 lakh vehicles per year at the unit. Now, other parameters of Maruti domestic sales 18 lakhs, 52,256 units, exports 2 lakh. 83,067 units, total sales 21,35,323 units. Maruti Suzuki in India is scheduled to start production of its first electric vehicle this year. The first lot of vehicles is expected to be shipped to Europe. Substantial sales of the Maruti EV in the Indian market are likely to happen only in the next financial year. Maruti expects SUS to remain the dominant category in the Indian market. It announced that it will continue to launch new vehicles in the SUV segment to increase its market share. Topic number three, HCL Tech Quarterly Results. Sales 26,606 crores, January, March 2023. Same period this year, 28,499 crores, 7% increment. Net profit, January, March 2023. 3,981 crores, January, March 2024, 3,995 crores, plus 0.4%. Now, SCL Tech, last five quarter financials. January, March 2023, net profit, 3,991 crores. April, June 2023, net profit, 3,531 crores. July, September 2023, net profit, 3833 crores, October, December 2023, net profit 4351 crores, and January, March 2024, 
net profit 3,995 crore. Decent performance by HCL Tech. The results were below analyst expectation. The company's board of directors recommended an interim dividend of rupees 18 per equity share. The record date has been fixed on 7th May 2024. HCL share price fell around 2% on Friday before the results announced. We need to see how the shares react to the results on Monday. End of the video. Here is the question. Where do you purchase your grocery and regular household items? If online, type online. If shop, type the name of the outlet in the comment section. If you are not the member of Dr. Bharat Chandra Institute Canada channel, this is the time to subscribe, press the bell icon, send the video to all your friends. The video is good, press the like button. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. All the best.